What's going on everyone? My name's AB Frank, but as you know, just call me Alex down in the comments. Don't, don't call me AB. Um, well, you can call me what you like really, but just saying, I'm called Alex if you want. So I'm out in the woods again for another reading vlog. Bike's over there. And um, I've, I've, I'm learning how to uh, set up a tarp. So I've got a root around my foot, one second. Um, so I've set, set up my tarp here, um, called the plow point setup, I believe that is, with uh, my chair, Kindle sat, Kindle sat there waiting for me. I um, wonder if you can get a better view of from over here. So yeah, I've got a stick. Um, where is it? There. There, actually. <laughs> um, pitching the back out a bit. The tarp I bought was the wrong one. It was only like 20 quid, so it doesn't really matter, but I bought the wrong one, so it doesn't have like bits to put there. Uh, tie out on the back so I had to prop it up with that stick anyway um, I let in the last reading vlog that I did I was quite enjoying The Hanged Man by P.N. Elrod and still I'm enjoying that I've got about 30% left in that book uh, a review of that will be coming soon but um, many of the same thoughts since then but as the books progressed uh, I've noticed that the world has expanded a bit so the initial magic system which was in place in that book has has been built on and there's been a, an additional magic system put in there, or, or not strictly magic system, or like, uh, you know, getting visions, premonitions, not by the main character, by other people, so it just expands the world a bit. And then there's something else that's that's been added or, or expanded within the world, which is which almost gave it a bit of a wobble, um, not, not for the better, but it sort of rescued it. But we've got 30% left, so I'll see where it goes. It could end up dragging the book down a bit, if uh, it's not done correctly, if the execution of this new thing, what's been introduced in the last, last sort of few chapter or two, uh, if it doesn't go so well. But anyway, uh, I'll check in in a minute. Okay, so this is what it's like from the inside. There's that stick with um, a jacket over the, the top so it doesn't pierce the tarp. And I'm pretty happy with this spot. Not many people have, have passed walking the dogs and they wouldn't pass me anyway. I'm a little bit out of, off the, the, the path, so. This is where I, what I'm looking out to. And this is what it looks like when I get up and get out. So the path is more, more over there. And it does run down the side here a bit and around around these bushes where I'm, where I'm camped. And the path go, does go uh, along, along there as well. But uh, there's been like two people past, so that's all right. I feel pretty tired. Keep rubbing this eye. I'm going to black it if I don't stop. Okay, so I've read some more of The Hanged Man and I'm on now 78%. I'm thinking I might read a short story now instead. I was sort of getting a bit, you know, I just uh, felt that my time from reading that out here had come. So um, instead of packing up and going, I'm, uh, I think I'm going to go and check out a short story. I'm not sure who by yet. I've got a few a few collections on the Kindle, so I um, might, might try a black, an Algernon Blackwood story, but uh, I might try a, a Jay Sheridan Le Fanu story as well. So. We'll see. Or even a Lord Dunsany. In fact, it'll, it will be a Lord Dunsany story. <laughs> I started reading the, the uh, complete Lord Dunsany, Dunsany collection that I've got. Jesus, can't get my words out. And uh, I didn't finish the first story just because it was quite late at night when I started it. And uh, yeah, I just got in bed instead. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll go back to that and finish that off. So the day before yesterday, I watched a couple of hours of like the add-on stuff for the Lord of the Rings, you know, the extra stuff for the DVD, the, the, you know, the making of it and the interviews with the cast and all that. And I've been meaning to watch, re-watch Lord of the Rings uh, uh, for, for a few months now. And I've just walked up to this path to show you what my uh, little camp looks like from, from uh, up here on the path. But this has just given me uh, Lord of the Rings vibes, this little path where Frodo says like, we need to get off the road. And then that black rider appears, the Wraith. 
So yeah, but anyway, let me, uh, can you can you make out? Yes, you can. There's my uh, camp down there. So it's not that far from the path. And it is visible. And there's a runner. Um, so my camp is there. I'll just walk around the path and show you. Because I'm stretching my legs a minute while I, uh, before I read the uh, Lord Dunson story, the first one that I turned to in the, or uh, flicked to, clicked to, is um, the Bride of the Ho Horseman or something. And uh, that's what I have already part read. So it's like um, a fawn basically, isn't it? A half man, half goat. No, um, that's, <laughs> it's a horse. So whatever that, um, the name of that thing is, half man, half horse. So there we are, back down where the camp is. People are walking off the path I've just turned off, but you don't really get through over here. It's more over this way. A little clearing up there, and they go down there. So yeah, this is the little camp that I've, that I've chosen. It's not stealth, because you can see the tarp pretty clearly from the path and people are about in these woods it's a it's a fairly busy woods it's not it, I'm not in the wilderness back behind me like going from left to right is uh, a, a motorway I don't know which one about 500 meters that way you can sort of hear the hum of it from from over here but it's pretty quiet oh, somebody's dog somebody's cutting through See if it comes over. No. <laughs> you alright? So I've just read The Bride of the Horseman by Lord Dunsany and I really enjoyed it. It's, uh, it's been in the woods. It's about this centaur with the word I was looking for earlier, half man, half horse, not a fawn. And yeah, this centaur, um, Shepherd, So that I like the names in this story. I liked his use of names of, of people and places in this. Uh, it, it was a good story, you know. It was. Uh, I was surprised by it because it's old, like old school. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure of uh, when when he lived but it, he's, uh, he's long gone, shall we say. Um, I like the story, it's about this uh, centaur, she Shepherd, who's traveling. He's got this um, sort of thing with historical significance, this horn that he's picked up from his homeland and then he's just ran off and he's, like, his mum knows that he's not coming back. Um, he, he's ran towards uh, this, this, uh, this lady that he's after, who's part, part um, lion and part something else. So um, I, I wrote a note in there through the notes feature on Kindle, that I wonder if this is commentary on like mixed race, uh, because I don't think it was, you know, overly common uh, back then. So um, I wonder if that was, um, you know, part of the theme to the story. But anyway, he's like traveling cross country. It wasn't long either. I don't know, maybe ten pages on a Kindle as well. So less than if it was in print. Um, so sorry, more on Kindle than if it was in print. But yeah, uh, he's just uh, the story of him traveling cross country and you know, you know, being in the wind going past him and, and you know, smelling flowers and all that stuff. It was it was good. And being in the woods, I thought this was a, you know, a, a random coincidence that that story was that about that. I liked it. I'm looking forward to getting into some more. The next story I saw in the title has the word distressing, so it, maybe he, he moved on to some darker things as well as that. So, yeah, looking forward to getting into a bit more Lord Dunson. I don't know if I'm going to squeeze loads of, you know, his stories in here and there, but I'm definitely going to, you know, do, you know, do it uh, sporadically. So um, I really like that story. And the wind, it says uh, one line in there is, he is the companion of the wind. Not quite that word, but not quite uh, word for word, but it definitely said the companion of the wind. And it speaks to him. The wind, you know, he, uh, it replies to him. Um, on, only like in a, in, a, in a brief bit of dialogue, not like a, a continuous, continuous thing through the story. Christ. <clears throat> yeah, I liked it. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to uh, finish my water and uh, pack, pack the stuff up and get get back. Go back and uh, read, read something um, that I've nearly finished as well. Uh, the Garden of Bewitchment, 
which is weird and also about sort of uh, the, the woodland, the fact the moors it's set in, in uh, Yorkshire. A review coming of that by the way, that's a, it's a, a really good book so I'm definitely doing a review of that. But yeah, time to pack up. There we go, all packed up. Um, there is where it was against that tree. No evidence that I was ever there. Uh, if you like this video, if you uh, if you want to see some more reading vlogs, uh, then consider subscribing and let me know down in the basement. I'm gonna head home now anyway, get a bath, get a cup of tea, and uh, chill out, do some reading. Um, the Garden of Bewitchment, like I said. So anyway, I'll see you next time.